Hey there, Jerry's DIY here. And today what we're looking at is something uh, I'm going to review for like the very first time really because I haven't even tested these out at all. It is the Great Value uh, Deco LED uh, Daylight Dimmable 35 Watt Equivalent Bulb here. As you can see it's got the brightness of 100 lumens. It's a pretty low cost per year depending on 3 hours per day. It's interesting because it uses about 3.5 watts to achieve the 35 watt equivalent. And as you can plainly tell that these are probably just a competitor with Phytoelectric's uh, Daylight uh, Vintage line. And this is pretty interesting because you can see it actually has like an extra little spiral here. And it actually does on the bulb, like if you really do see that. Um, the fun thing about this is, is that the only real difference between this and the 25 watt equivalent uh, fight electric ones is that uh, it's just a small little difference in milliamps. These use about 40 milliamps, whereas the uh, the uh, fight electric ones they use uh, 41 milliamps to achieve it, which is really interesting. So these are not really brighter. It's just uh, they both use 100 lumens. You know, it's just just really odd. These aren't exactly the most flawless ones I've ever seen either. I just want to say like the glass is a bit funny on some of them. So as you can see, this is the box that they came in. And you've got everything here. It's uh, A19 shape, of course. The E26 base, the medium base. And again, the uh, claim that it can last for quite a bit. Underwriters Laboratory is listed. RHS compliant. And of course, the facts, of course, 5000K and everything else. 120 volts, 60 hertz. So let's get on to the bulb itself. And here we are with the bulb, and as you can see, it's definitely got that extra little spiral up here, which is quite nice. And with this one, you can actually see the LEDs in series. And of course, you can see the circuitry in there. Now, onto the function of the bulb. And as you can see, it's uh, quite bright, and it's kind of funny because I, f I feel like it's a little bit brighter than the uh, Fight Electric one. And as you can see, we have our, our little etching right here. This is probably applied by heat, of course, through some kind of, uh, some kind of stencil, I suppose you could say. And uh, you're probably seeing a little bit of uh, some kind of little effect on the bulb. That's just because it's scratched up a bit. I'm not sure if that was like a manufacturing thing or if someone was just rifling through the bulbs at the Walmart, you know, because, I don't know, there's like some people who just go through every single box of bulbs at the Walmart and just trash everything. It kind of pisses me off, but uh, anyway, this is a pretty good daylight bulb and it kind of has a weird, it's got a bit of a hue to it, kind of like a, uh, a little bit of a bluish hue to it which is unlike the usual 5000k that I usually go over although I won't say that it's sickly and maybe it's just uh, more depends on the person but it's okay it's passable but it might be something that you may notice and of course if you had two of them it's it's pretty bright I mean 200 lumens altogether I'd say they make a great decorative piece just like the Five electric ones, and uh, they seem to operate quite nice. Now let's uh, check out that dimming ability. Hopefully, it's a lot better than uh, the uh, Edison type one. Okay, full brightness, and uh, we're not seeing any flickering, so that's good. Let's see if we get flickering as we bring it down a bit. Um. No flicker that I can notice. I'm being really careful with it. And that gets surprisingly dim. That's quite good, actually. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty good, I like that. Let's see if we can get that just a little bit lower. Wow, that 
that's actually still going, believe it or not. That's actually still going. Check that out. Wow. Let's bring it all the way back up. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Check that out. That's pretty far out. <laughs> let's, let's bring it back down just one more time. Oh, my eyes. Like it's, like it's surprisingly dim. I'm actually quite pleased with that. Ooh, ooh. Wow. Hey. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Well, in summation, not too bad from the great value line. This is actually pretty quality, I would say. Um, if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to the Fight Electric ones, which uh, the A19 version of the Fight Electric uh, Vintage Edison style daylight bulb, it's like five ninety five at the Home Depot. Whereas with this, it's about six seventy four, and you get two of them. So that's kind of nice. You don't really have to pay so much just to have two of them. Uh, and really, they do achieve the same effect, basically. Maybe the big sticking point for some people would be the uh, the etch on the side. Although I, you wouldn't really notice it anyway. And if you're operating them on a dimmer, hey, it's just the greatest display feast you could have if you're into the whole... Um, you know, vintage, antique style, steampunk looking thing, I suppose you could say. But yeah, I think they're really neat, and I mean, again, the best part is that they're affordable. So, hopefully that gives uh, some insight, because I haven't seen too many people review these, if any have done that so before. So thank you for watching, and have a good one.